In this part, we will show the logged in user information. We will show the login and re register button only if the user is not logged in. Once user is logged in, we will hide those buttons and show his name in the navbar. Along with that, we will show a logged out button. First, open main.js in your web source folder. We will be creating global variables in this. First variable will be the object of logged in user, but if the user is not logged in, then that variable will be null and a login variable. This will be a boolean variable containing only true or false. Then we create a headers object. It will have content type and its value as application JSON. Another header authorization and its value will be bearer plus the access token saved in local storage. We will pass this header with each request. The server will get the access token from authorization header and search for user in MongoDB having the same access token in user's collection. If the user is not logged in then the local storage will have null value and thus the server will not be able to identify the user and throw an error. We will be calling an ajax in app header to get the user because app header is included in each page so whatever the page user refreshes we will be able to call the ajax and get the user so import these two modules in app header component and create a data object it will have local user and login login variables but we will mostly use the global variables and in methods we create a function called get user First check if the access token is stored in local storage. If yes, then we will call an ajax get user. Second parameter will be null because we are not sending any post parameter with the request. However, the third parameter will be an object and we will pass our headers in it. When the response is received from the server and its status is success, we will get the user object from server and save it in a global variable and console the user to see if it is fetched properly otherwise we will remove the access token value from local storage because the server will set the status to error if the access token is not found in database meaning the user is either not logged in or has been logged out then we will check if the local storage has access token or not and save its value in login variable and if the local storage does not have access token before, then we also set the login to false. Set the user as global variable, but we will be using dollar $user more often. And we need to call this getUser function when this component is mounted in Vue.js app. Now we need to create this API. In your API folder, create a new folder named modules. We will be creating our own middleware for authentication. And in this folder, create a new file named auth.js. In this file, first we will include the JSON Web Token module and its secret key. And we will also include the MongoDB module as well. We do not need the Mongo client here. Then we will export this module. It will have request which was sent by client app and result which we can use to send response back to client. And next to continue the request to the API endpoint. First we will get the access token from authorization headers. Its value will be bearer space plus access token. So we can split the value in two parts by calling the javascript split method and split it by space. It will break the value in two parts. First part will be bearer and second will have access token. So we can get the second part by accessing its index. Since index starts from zero so we can find the access token and index at index one. Then we will verify this access token. We need to call the verify method from JWT module. Pass the access token and secret key. It will return the decoded object. And during login we use the user id to generate the token. So right now we will get the user id from decoded object. If the JWT verification is failed then it will throw an error. That's why we are writing this code in try catch block. We will write the catch block in a moment.
Now we can easily get the user from MongoDB using this user ID. But we discussed in the previous tutorial that you may want to log out the user manually from database by setting its access token to empty. So we will search the user using his access token. Because even if the JWT verification is successful, but if you have removed his access token, it means you want this user to log out. And if the user is not found, then we will send the error response back to client app. We will be setting status code to 401, which means unauthorized. Since we will be sending this user object back to client, so we need to remove the sensitive information from it. We will remove the password field and access token and create add field. Then we will add this user object with the request object and continue the request. Now the request object we will get in API endpoint will have this user object too. Finally we will create our catch block and send the error response to client that the access token is not verified by JWT. Then we need to include this module in server.js. Then create an API that will fetch the user's data. We will pass our middleware as second parameter. And since this request object will have user object from auth module, we can simply get the user object. Now this is the logged in user. And we will simply return this user object to the client app. So the data has been fetched. That's how you can get the user's data using only his access token. Now we need to show the username on top navbar. We have this user object in app header. First let's hide the login and register buttons if user is logged in. and show the drop down only if the user is logged in and in this anchor tag we will show the name of the user so the name has been displayed and the login register buttons are removed and for the other user since i am not logged in i am seeing login and register links but now i will not see the drop down so i am going to log in in this browser with the other user And now I see his name. In the next tutorial we will do the logout feature.